The original single autofocus selection area has now been updated to give you 35 autofocus points. Now to access this is very simple. You just press and hold the AFMF button on top of the camera for about one second. That brings up the grid of 35 autofocus points and you can simply touch select the point that you would like to use or alternatively you can use the dials, the rotational dials, the front and the back to select the position. And if you're looking through the EVF, through the electronic viewfinder, you can also use the dials to select the position of the autofocus point that you require. The latest firmware adds exposure simulation to the camera. The live view on the rear screen or in the electronic viewfinder is now linked to the exposure system. So that as you change your settings or the exposure compensation, then the displayed view is updated to match your exposure adjustments. So let's take a closer look at that on the back of the camera. So as I preview the image and now adjust my exposure, you can see how the exposure changes to match my exposure selection. The actual screen, whether it is the rear screen or the EVF will change in accordance with my exposure selection. After selecting a particular focus point, once you've taken the exposure, the camera will default back to the center focus point. However, you can override that in the main menu by going into camera, autofocus focus, and then where it says reset focus point after exposure, you can say never. And then the camera will remain on the focus point that you selected uh, from the 35 different focus zones. The focusing system in the X1D is contrast detection type. And another feature of the focusing system is focus peaking or focus magnification when we're using manual mode. Let me explain a little bit more about what that means. So if I'm viewing an image and I want to focus in manual focus, I can select manual focus by pressing the button on top of the camera. And now, as I manually focus the lens, you will see focus peaking lines appear on the display. These appear on the display or in the EVF, and this is to assist you with your focusing. And what's happening is the contrast detection focusing system is identifying areas that are coming into focus via that contrast detection. And as I turn the lens barrel to defocus the image, the contrast is reduced. And then as I turn the barrel the other way into focus, the system can recognize the areas of the photograph that are now in focus. Now that's one method of assisting you with the uh, focusing in manual focus, but there is also focus magnification. Now to apply focus magnification, you simply press your shutter button down part of the way, and then you can hit the star button on the back of the camera next to the rear screen and it increases the magnification of the image to give you a more precise visual reference for focusing. And this is also applicable in the camera's viewfinder. Now, you can also, in the camera's menu system, select whether you prefer the focus peaking or the magnification system to be the default setting.